In our first IntelliFest Insight, we look at Web 3.0 and the impact it's likely to have on the digital economy. In 1989, in order to deal with the massive amounts of information at the CERN Research Institute, Sir Tim Berners-Lee laid out his vision for a new information management system. Berners-Lee proposed a distributed hypertext system for storing and sharing information. Thus was born the World Wide Web. Users could navigate through information from any location through hyperlinks and online documents. URLs gave documents a unique address that could be shared and bookmarked. In 1991, there was one website. 14 years later, there were more than 64 million websites. Leading up to 2005, Web 2.0 technologies added the ability for users to interact, publish, and collaborate. Control of the tools that enable these new capabilities is centralized in the hands of a few digital mega platforms. User-generated data and content brought billions in value to companies like Facebook and Google. Web 2.0 made every user a creator, and the data and content that users produce are monetized by the platform owners. There is no governing body that defines what is and what isn't Web 3.0. So let's look at the three technology trends that are converging to shape it. The computing paradigm of Web 2.0 concentrates data and processing in cloud-based centralized servers. Data generated on the edge of the network, on devices like mobile phones, personal computers, and IoT devices, is sent to a data center for processing and storage. The results can then be sent back to the edge device. The increasing computing power and storage capacity of edge devices now makes it possible to offload processing from the center to the edge. Soon, every single edge device, from phones to cars to home appliances, will be its own data center. Functions that were the exclusive domain of the centralized server will be shared with the edge. Every user will soon have the power of a data center in their pocket. Blockchain is a highly secure, trustless system. Participants and transactions do not need to know or trust each other because smart contracts on the blockchain are self-executing. The terms of the agreement between buyer and seller are embedded into the code of the contract. Contracts are automatically executed when predetermined terms and conditions are met. No trusted middleman required. Blockchain distributes the power to execute financial transactions to the user. No need for banks, payment systems, or rating agencies to act as arbiters of trust. In Web 2.0, only big platform providers have access to advanced artificial intelligence capabilities. Soon, the next generation of AI, combined with next-gen silicon, will produce powerful AI chips that can be embedded in small edge devices like phones. That will put the power of the most advanced AI in history into the hands of users. Just as AI has supercharged the abilities of the big platforms, it will now supercharge the abilities of users through the power of intelligent edge devices. Are you seeing a pattern here? All three of today's most important technology trends are distributing the processes that are now the exclusive domain of big platform providers into the hands of users. That is sure to result in a radical change in the relationship between user and platform provider. The Web 1.0 leaders model their businesses on users as passive consumers of information. The Web 2.0 leaders harness the user's ability to create. The Web 3.0 leaders will harness users' ability to execute. How do you harness and monetize this new paradigm? How will platforms enable users to benefit from the ability to execute? Figure that out and you could be the first Web 3.0 unicorn. Despite all the hype, there are still many challenges to getting these technologies to the scale that would make Web 3.0 a reality. 
But the history of tech innovation would suggest that those roadblocks will be overcome in the near future. It's much too early to predict exactly what the impact of Web 3.0 will be. But one thing is certain. The next phase of the web will bring disruptive and transformational change.